I'm Laura Avery, the Santa Monica Farmer's Market Supervisor, and welcome to Cooking with the Farmer's Market, where we are going to show you how to cook delicious food with fresh, locally grown ingredients from the Farmer's Market. Shopping at the Farmer's Market eliminates the need for packaging and helps us to avoid costly processed food and provides us with hundreds of options for adding fresh fruits and vegetables to our menu. Joining me today is Stefano Di Lorenzo, the chef owner of the Michelin Star La Botte restaurant in Santa Monica, which specializes in regional Italian cuisine. And also with us today is Stefano's son, Luca, who will be sharing some of his favorite recipes with us as well. Cooking from the farmer's market is easy no matter what your budget, so let's get started. Welcome, Stefano and Luca. Thank you. Thank you. What are we gonna cook today? Today we're gonna make a pasta from scratch. Mm -hmm. It's called orecchiette, which is which means small ears, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we have some beautiful uh, flour from our local farmers market. Uh, the first thing that I would love to get started with, I want to make some tomato water, and that's co what's gonna what's I also gonna use to make the pasta. Now, making fresh pasta, okay. The ingredients are simply like you said. We have flour, and we now have flour from one of the farmers at the farmer's market. So you just got this the other day, didn't you? Yes, I did. Some I nice flour grown in California. California mm -hmm. used to grow quite a bit of wheat back in the day, and it's sort of all left the table. But it's coming back. Artisanal wheat, wonderful varieties of wheat. So this, what kind is this? Is this something you uh, picked especially for the pasta? Yes, I did. I really loved, I really loved it. It's a Sonora uh -huh. wheat. Sonora, Sonora wheat. Yeah, I think it's a kind that used to grow in California. And then what else have you got? Is that um, and, and uh, uh, along with the sonora wheat, I'm gonna use uh, some uh, semolina, semolina flour. I wanna make, I wanna give uh, the pasta a, a really nice, uh, um, crunchy taste, okay. and also give a little bit of that uh, Italian style to the pasta. So and semolina is corn, or is that it's a wheat a, also? It's a wheat also. Oh, wheat, yeah. Okay, but it's coarse. It almost looks yeah. like cornmeal. It's a, yeah. It, but very fine. So that's yeah. that's why I get a little bit of that al, ah, al dente, al, al dente, dente taste, ah. right? Okay. Yes. So I, um, all I did, I cut my tomatoes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna put my tomatoes right here on uh -huh. a blender. Cover it up. And that's and just standard. standard. And that's all it's gonna take to make my pasta. I'm gonna strain it. And that's a kitchen blender. Is that a special kind of blender? No, just a, can have? perhaps okay. a little more powerful than yeah. a standard blender, yeah. but yeah, yeah. a standard blender will work just fine. So you're pouring the tomatoes. Pouring the tomato here, right? Through a table napkin, Through basically. a table napkin, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. so, something that we can easily do at home, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Just a container, a table napkin, so I tidy here. Okay. Uh, le I let it rest for a little bit. Okay. And what I'm gonna get out of this is some beautiful, uh, clean tomato water with some fantastic taste. Do you, med okay, so that's just three tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then how much water, do you know how much water you're gonna well, get from the, the, uh, from the pasta that we're gonna make uh -huh. today, I am gonna use about 250 grams of each one of uh -huh. the two flowers, uh -huh. and 220 of the tomato water. So I'm okay. gonna put a little, little less liquid and a little more flour. Okay. okay, now a lot of people that cook at home don't have a scale. Okay. But uh, do you prefer uh, the, to yeah, weigh I because it's more accurate? I think it's, yeah, yeah uh -huh. I think, and uh, uh -huh. for the consistency and, okay. and everything. So I think so these be are a all pre-measured in yep. those amounts you said? Okay, yep. all right. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start making my pasta. It's so easy to do it at home. It is really very yeah. easy. So equal parts of semolina and flour. That's correct. Okay. I'm gonna start that one. And, and this is this slowly, fabulous uh, dough hook thing. Slowly I'm gonna uh, put my uh, tomato water in there. So okay. I don't get just the tomato taste uh -huh. from the sauce, but nice. inside the pasta also, I have the tomato water. And then no, uh, so are you going to add salt? I'm not going to add salt on the pasta, mm -hmm. because that's going to change the color of my pasta. Really? The time. Right? Yeah. It's going to turn kind of darker color. Really? So I don't want to add salt on the pasta. Okay. But I can do that on the water and on the sauce. So. Okay. So flour and water. Mm -hmm. No yeah. eggs. No eggs. Just flour No eggs for this type of, uh, so this type of pasta. So easy. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Simple food. Okay. Yeah. Next thing I want to do. So you're making dough right now. now you're I'm basically making, making dough. Yeah. dough. Okay. Perfect. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this fantastic zucchini trombetta, uh, also fresh from the farmer's market and also very Italian. I remember when I was in Italy, so it reminds me of Italy as well. They have a really unique flavor. 
Now these are, it's a trompetta, it's kind of like a zucchini. It's kind of like a zucchini squash, yeah. But uh, more nutty, more... Uh, but they have a very, very unique taste, so that's uh -huh. why that's why I like it. Are these and the uh, ones that get bigger and bigger and bigger yeah, that Alex that, wears around his yeah, neck? Yeah, that's, okay. That's it. These yeah. almost turn into a, squ a big, hard they, squash they after do a while, don't they? They do actually turn into a oh, squash, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's a baby, anyway, it's a young squash. Gonna, Can you cook with them once they get big and like a like a hard winter squash? Can you, you can, also you use can them then? Perhaps different recipe, yeah. but you can still use yeah. them, yeah, absolutely. So what are you making with this right now? Um, I want to give uh, my plate a nice co uh, different consistencies. Mm -hmm. So I am going to cut this zucchini here mm -hmm. and I'm going to make them nice and crispy. And this part of the zucchini, I'm going to cook it in a, in a boiling water along uh -huh. with the pasta. Oh. So I give the pasta also a little bit of the flavor of the zucchini. Nice. Okay? Tomato, so that's zucchini, tomato, zucchini. Tomato, zucchini. Right the in the water with product, the pasta. Yeah. And no salt. That's so great. No, no yet. Yeah. Now, La Bote, La Bote is a uh, one star Michelin restaurant, yes, fine it is. dining, mm -hmm. and yet simple, rustic, from the farmer's market. Yeah, yeah very that's inspired. What, yeah. That's what I actually like to do. I like yeah. to um, take the old recipe and uh, keep it very simple, yeah. but use the best and yeah. freshest pro local products that I can possibly use. And maybe this trompetta squash is something you had in Italy, and maybe yes, I did. That's, I did. hard that's why to find here yeah. until it, you found the farmer's yeah. market. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Never seen this yeah. in a store, just at the farmer's market. And it's also a very short season, so when I say I really want to take advantage of that. Right. Now, but and when the trompetta is out of season, do we go with just a zucchini or do we just switch uh, vegetables I, to what's in season? Uh, I, I, I actually like to do different recipes, uh -huh. so I don't do this when they are not in season. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But we, we, could use, we could use different zucchini, yeah, right. absolutely. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to turn this on. So you can pretty much flavor your pasta water with whatever you want, whatever you, you're you inspired also, to if, do, right? If you have enough time and energy, you could also do a big pot of uh, uh, tomato water and just cook your pasta actually into the tomato water as ah. well, instead of putting it in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Luca, have you ever made pasta yourself? Sometimes. Well, how, how do you, do you do all this stuff? Do you weigh it? Do you know how to do all that stuff with the scale and everything? Yep. Oh, wow. And then turn this guy on. Do you ever do the pasta dough by hand? I guess uh, even kids don't have to do that anymore, huh? You got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so people, if people don't have that, have you ever made the pasta dough just by hand, rolled it out? Yep. Yeah. Good, Sometimes good muscles. Do that, yeah. We don't have to make too much pasta. We'll do that. Yeah, that's great. So this much pasta, do you try to estimate how many servings you're going to get with the... Um. If, yeah, if I use all of that, I'm probably going to get anywhere in between like six to seven servings. servings. Okay. Um, I like to serve 80 grams a portion because that's what, I, what we do in Italy. Okay. You know, I just kind of grew up with that yeah, idea. I've got to get my, my yeah. metric head here. I don't yeah, know. I know. <laughs> 80 grams? Okay. <laughs> it's now this is already... 2.7 ounces. Oh, okay. Now that's almost smoking already. It's almost smoking. Yeah, uh, yeah the induction is really fast, so I'm going to put my zucchini here. Now, Luca, are you, are you able to do this? Do you work with your dad at home? Do you make the hot oil and you do the slicing and dicing? This looks like a very serious knife right here. Sometimes. Yeah, you do? You have a special tomato knife you're going to use later, right? Yeah. For your special dish. Oh, sorry, I saw you put some salt in there. Put some salt okay, in there, right? Okay. Give a little bit of flavor to the zucchini. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you do this, Luca? Can you make this move with the pan? That takes a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah he's practicing, but he's getting there. <laughs> Can I try? Yeah, absolutely. Two hands, one hand, like that? Like one, yeah, perfect. Okay. Look at you. Okay, Luca, you want to try? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them here we for don't a want moment. Any so one side crispy and uh, turn them around uh, and make the other so side crispy. So you don't crispy. have to turn every single one yeah. over and get all crazy. You can just flip them. Okay. Flip, That's yeah. nice hot oil, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, yeah, the trick is just put them to keen it inside when the oil is really and hot. And we're yeah. using olive oil. Really That's a good, yeah. yeah local for also from a local farmer's market right we really use right in california oil. we do have quite a few in fact this one here adams they are a fifth generation they've been there since the 1800s i, I think yeah. the story was mr adams the, the great great grandfather used to go into local bars with his olives and tell people you know get them a little inebriated and then sell them olives and sold a lot of olives that way so now this is madly boiling. That's madly boiling, so okay. that's perfect for us. Uh, really soon our pasta here is going to be ready. How do you know when it's ready to... Uh, it kind of becomes one big uh, piece, right? Oh, one yeah? big uh -huh. and then at that point we can start uh, making our uh, orecchiette. Is this pretty much essential if you are going to make a lot of pasta at home to have some kind of a mixer like this? Well, uh, at the restaurant we have a big mixer, like yeah. a 20 yeah. quarter mixer, yeah. which is like probably... Mm -hmm. 
10 times bigger than this one, eh? So, yeah. You can start making your tomatoes, yeah, absolutely. And so, Luca, what are you going to do now? I'm going to make salted tomatoes. Salted tomatoes, yeah. yeah. And? And popcorn. And popcorn. Salted tomatoes. What kind of tomatoes are those? They're fresh from the farmer's the market tomato. Do you taste them before you buy them? Yep. You ever try the orange ones? Sometimes. The yellow ones, green ones. Yep. Oh, Luca loves tomatoes, absolutely. Absolutely loves tomato. Yeah, so you're doing good. very and good. We're Look so at lucky, you. But there's some that are still you're not sure? Even flipped That's over. okay. In mm -hmm. a moment, we'll be there. Yeah. They don't stick at all, which is great. Mm -hmm. That's because of, yeah, you just take good care of your pants. That's because you're good. Oh, that's, that's, right. that's, that's why. <laughs> that's why, yeah. Okay, so Luca, what are you doing? Cutting those in half? Yep. And uh, do you take that little thing where the stem was, or is that little thing on top? Do you have to worry about that, or you just, there's so little, it doesn't matter. That little thing where the stem was, um, just leave that in. It doesn't matter. Now, how do you make sure you don't cut your finger? I'm you very careful. Way? You're very careful? Are you cutting that just in half, or are you making slices out of that tomato? Just in half, just because in half. it's pretty tiny. Okay, now what are you getting there? Salt. Okay. And how do you know how much to put on? Well, just I can see how much there uh -huh. is on it. And what does a tomato, what does the salt do for the tomato? It gives it flavor, a lot of flavor. Yeah? Yep. Big difference with salt and no salt? Yeah. So great. Now your dad, okay. you were telling me. Okay, go ahead, yeah. I'm gonna strain this right now. Strain that, okay. And, uh, take the oil They're away. Beautiful, They're beautiful, 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 brown, brown beautiful crispy. Beautiful color, right? Yeah. Oh, this one's actually puffy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna do like this. There you go. Okay, so it's a little spatula with, oh, that's how you can get that oil out of there, okay. And then I'm gonna see them here uh -huh. on my uh, napkin, uh -huh. so I can let them dry nicely. I'll turn this off. And uh, and I'm gonna take a little bit of sea salt. Oh, it's and beautiful. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit mm. of sea salt. There you go. And then we're gonna put them over there. Okay. Let them rest for a little bit. All right. And then we'll use them at the very end for very our uh, presentation. Now, are you timing yeah. this uh, mixing, or are you no, just this is, no? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take that out now, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish working it here on the table. Let's see what that dough looks like when you get it out of there, so we'll know what a pasta-ready dough looks like. Oh, this will. Oh, you can now you can lift the whole thing out. Mm -hmm. It'll all stick. Yeah. That's when you know it's good to the go. One, what one if you mix it too long? They always say if you mix flour too long, the gluten gets hard or something. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Got a little, little bit of experience, but yeah, you don't want to mix it too long, right? Okay. For, the, for the gluten, but a little bit is okay because then it's going to keep your pasta okay. nice and al dente. Okay, I was not yeah. timing that, but while you made that, you got all your all your zucchini done, your trompetta done, yeah. and you yeah. got the water going, and you wow, it's great. So now maybe we can take a little bit of this pasta here. So Luca, to be a chef, you have to learn how to do do something really well, but then you have to learn how to do two things at once, and then three yeah. things at once, and. It's so like right be, now you're stemming nice. your tomatoes and you got the oil. And be nice and organized in the kitchen, right? Be organized in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm gonna get a, a little bit of uh, extra flour. Okay. And so, so you're rolling this out by hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have uh, a machine at, at the restaurant that helps me out to do this work and make it really fast. But right uh -huh. here, this is just perfect. Okay. And is this a special kind of? Pasta rolling pin or something? No, just mm -hmm. just plain, just mm -hmm. uh, just for everybody. Mm -hmm. I love your cutting board. It looks like it's well used. I know, right? Right, it's really <laughs> special. I promise you, this gets used every single day. <laughs> well, they've got the plastic ones, the bamboo ones. Why do you like this one so much? Um, I love wood. I love yeah. the feel of the wood and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the touch. Yeah. This it's I don't beautiful. think there's anything like wood. Yeah, I know. No. I agree. It's awfully big though to get it to get it in the sink to clean it bit of a chore. There Let's talk about some of the, well, some of the flavor. We'll talk about those later, but you have all these beautiful olive oils here that are... I make all my olive oils. Yeah. I make all my stuff. Uh, yeah. and in a moment, we can talk about okay. how to... Um, so now, how thick is this? This is about a quarter well, inch? Yeah, it, it depends on what you like, you know, uh -huh. but, you know, just like that. Oh, look at those little guys. Okay, oh, there you go. 
And this is it. Can you get different diameter? I mean, you can, or is it just you can, one? You know, yeah, you can mm -hmm. get any diameter. Uh -huh. You can get different uh, different cuts. You can, can you get pass any me diameter. The corn? Uh, sh uh, right here. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, now Luca, what are you doing with the corn? I'm just gonna get all these little things here uh -huh. and put them in a little tray. Uh -huh. Daddy, can you get me the tray? Sure. Wait, That's right here. Yeah. We're gonna put I it right help. here. There oh, you here. go. Okay. So let's get a little room for you. Let's put this one here. Perfect. This one, yeah. So this is about a quarter inch thick, and then you make these little circles. With the uh -huh. with the pasta machine, uh -huh. we can do that uh, slightly slightly thinner, but uh -huh. for for the pasta today, for the handmade pasta, it works just fine. Shoot, sure, you can okay. absolutely. So you're working around the edge. It's like cutting Christmas cookies. You want to make sure you use all the dough. Mm -hmm. if, what about the extra? You roll it up and roll it out again. You and can cut more? exactly. You can use that way, like that, that way. Here yeah. we go. Okay, let me try this. Either end. Oh, this Either. one's sharp. Yeah, that one is really okay. sharp. There you go. While you're doing that, I'm going to take this one here that we don't need anymore. This is great. Just now, why not go. just do, I know you want to do orchetti today, but you could also just do, you could do the... You can do many different do shapes the, of pasta yeah, the, with, the, the, with, the, with the same spaghetti, pasta dough. the tagliatelle, all those things. If you have a little bit of extra Should I just pasta. let this fill up with these little circles and then push them all out at once? Mm -hmm. or do you, oh, look, and it's uh, full. You it's completely full. Look at that. Oh, yeah. and then you. Oh, look oh. at that. See, Shove and you can. I think this way. Maybe it's easier. Oh. There you go. See. And we have all our beautiful pastas okay. here. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now we have our um, very handy tool here, mm -hmm. and we can. Yeah. What does that do? do this, oh. and then we have a beautiful. Um, oh, that's, that's And what you can that do uh, gnocchi with this, and we can do oh. other shapes of pasta. But and why does it need ridges? Just because it yeah. looks cool? It doesn't or it need it actually, oh. but, I, but I just like the look of the pasta. Yeah. And that's what makes orecchetti, orecchetti is those that little made, ridges? Yeah. That's it. Okay. And the shape too, the, this, you know, so this cool. round shape. Yeah. Totally getting the hang of this. Is this thing we rolled out right now, is this about one serving? All these little... Uh, this is probably, I would say like a couple of service oh, yeah? maybe. Oh yeah? That's full. No, I should. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. That was Hard on the hand, but okay. Keep the okay. door here. I know the, this one here is slightly re sharp. Yeah. Re -roll, re -roll. And, and just keep going, yeah. Because that's so that's quite a bit of pasta right mm -hmm. here. Actually, yeah. when, you, when you look at it that way, yeah. Beautiful. Now we're Thank gonna make you. Make yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. So with Luca's now, little thumb, did we get? I'll let you do this little more. I'm gonna here. start making the uh, cherry tomato sauce. Okay. So I'll start with that. Uh, now, when you here. say tomato sauce, uh, you're just basically what are you going to do? Take a few but this, nice uh, you know, fresh tomatoes. This, this time of the year, exactly. This time of the year, I like to take advantage of the uh, fresh tomatoes. They're uh -huh. beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. I love cherry tomatoes. I'm a big fan of cherry tomatoes, so I'll take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. um, but I can also use a little bit of tiny bit of uh, uh, the tomato sauce. Okay. And then that how did you make that? Is that that's pureed tomatoes? That's pureed tomatoes, right? Yeah. And that can be made with the Roma tomatoes of the market, right? What else? Just tomatoes? Just tomatoes, just really? plain tomatoes, yeah, nothing else. Just really plain tomatoes. But you've got all okay. these beautiful dried herbs here that you make. Do you ever mm -hmm. throw some of those in? Or sure, absolutely. Just a little bit goes a long yeah. way, huh? I'm just a tiny bit of my water here. There you go. Okay, so olive oil, a little bit of tomato sauce, water. That's it. Then you're now, gonna now I'm done. Okay. Okay. My sauce is ready. That's yeah. your sauce? I that's my sauce. Uh -huh. I like to add a little tiny bit of garlic olive oil uh -huh. to give it a little bit of garlic flavor mm. and tiny bit of my pepperoncino olive oil. I make it a tiny bit spicy, right? Okay. Okay. And how do Perfect. you make those? Uh, infuse them with the herbs, oregano, uh -huh. rosemary, garlic. Uh, it's very easy. Just boil some olive oil, uh -huh. put your herbs in there. Uh -huh. As soon as it starts boiling, uh -huh. as soon as it's boiling, uh -huh. just stop it, uh -huh. cover it up, leave it there overnight. And then, and then you then have you're a done. beautiful you take the olive herbs oil. out and then, then you have just oil. And you just have it, oh. you know, your olive you oil. You yeah. literally have to boil the olive oil? Uh, just as soon as it starts boiling, uh -huh. it, that's, that's the time that you stop it. Oh, okay. So. How are these doing? Are these okay? Are those okay? Luca, Luca, yeah, these are perfect. And Luca I'm over impressed. there Luca, is making, so getting hard. the corn yeah. off the cob. That, that corn wow, is, they, wow. Beautiful, thank that you. That corn is, uh, that's from James Birch from Florabella, right? Yes, they grow it is. that popcorn. Yep. Yes, it is. So, how's that on your hand, Luca? It's a little hard, huh? <laughs> your hands are bright red now. Um, special kind of corn that makes popcorn, which is great. It's beautiful little ears. I'm going to salt my tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Just put them in here. Any more? Thank you. 
No, mm -hmm. let's see. That's that would be that would be that's half one for ear today. of corn. Yeah. We'll see how that'll get really. Yeah. That'll that'll yeah, fill that up. Yeah, that'll fill up a okay. plate I'm, for I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now these are going to cook for a while. No, okay. I'm just going to leave them there. No, I don't oh. want to cook those. I just oh. want to just leave them in there. Okay. And then just before the pasta is ready, I'm just I'm going to uh, just boil them a little bit, warm them up a little bit because I don't right. really need to cook them. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. <laughs> That's a little challenging, but you can do that. So this thing is just for making oricchetti, this beautiful little or, wooden thing. Or gnocchi, too. Or gnocchi. Or gnocchi, right? Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with some salt in the water. Oh, so we, there okay, now we're going to we'll salt, salt that. Salt the water, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, you're just not even measuring, but you know what to do, so. Put a beautiful oricchetti there. Okay. We're going to so put Daddy, our zucchini in there. And we add a little bit of that trumpetta. Just be patient for a second and I'll let you know, okay? Okay. And then, uh, how long will this cook? And, um, um Fresh you have pasta to watch it? just made like that, about a couple of minutes. Couple minutes. So we'll see, it, uh, you know, rising to the surface and uh, that point will be ready. They'll right? come up to the top. That come up to the top. Really soon, so. Okay, and then we when go. we come we're back, gonna what we're going to do is you're going to show us how to get that out of the water, how to add the sauce, and then Luca's over there eating all his tomatoes, but we'll have some left when we come back, I hope. Okay, Perfect. great. Thanks. Hey! I don't know you. Some problems are just too big to ignore, but don't take matters in your own hands. With the help of a mediator, you can find a solution. Mediators are volunteer professionals who can help you resolve issues without the high cost of legal fees. <laughs> well, you're be single. Hey, I saw him first. Oh boy, here we go. Call us or reach out on the web if you'd like to volunteer or donate. Good morning, sunshine. If he were, he'd tell you, right? You're too healthy to be. He didn't look sick. What if you weren't safe every time? What if he's sleeping with his ex? What if it broke? If you are HIV positive, what happens next? You don't have to live with Mr. Doubt. Common Ground offers free testing and care for HIV and STDs, including hepatitis. Just stop by or call us. It's time you know. Hi, and we are back in the kitchen, and now we are joined by Luisa. This is Luca's younger sister, Luisa DiLorenzo. She has been uh, our producer in the control room, and now she's here to taste the food and tell us what she thinks of her dad and her brother's fabulous creations. Welcome, Louisa. Thank you. <laughs> so what we did is uh, we uh, finished the pasta real quick and only took a couple minutes to cook and took it out with a, a drainer, and then we dumped it right into that pan with that hot olive oil, with the tomatoes and the sauce you made. So simple, so quick. Even the zucchini from the pasta water went right in there, there's the pasta. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's ready. And, and it's also, ready to go. And also one now. thing, you want to save your water when we cook because if you need a little bit of extra water for the sauce, uh -huh. that's a good thing, really so good So you save your pasta save. water. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before I finish the, uh, the pasta, I want to start the uh, popcorns, okay? Popcorn. So I'll use a little bit of uh, infused ros rosemary, okay. rosmarino, mm -hmm. olive oil that I make at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit of this. Mm. Cover it up. We don't want a popcorn. High more. heat, very high heat. Very high heat okay. for, uh, for a few seconds. Or actually a couple of minutes, not just a few seconds. And right. And that's it. And okay, we'll so that's going to go real in. fast. Okay. And then that's just reheating. And yeah. Luca, what's going on over there? What have you got happening I'm over there? I'm just putting the tomatoes in here. With Those are your tools. salt tomatoes that you made with the olive oil. Yes. Okay. That looks beautiful. That looks so good. And then so they kind of marinated for a little while over there. Is that what you were doing with the salt and the olive oil? You got them all marinated and now you're plating them. Yes. Beautiful. And what did you pick them up with? You literally use tweezers to get those? Are those tomato tweezers, Chef? Um, well, they're made for everything, actually, yeah. but um, for the tomatoes are perfect, yes. I did not know you had tweezers for cherry tomatoes. That's fantastic. There you go. And then now this is, is a beautiful orecchetti with the tomato sauce. Is that your favorite dish, Luisa? Um, really close to my favorite. I have lots of favorites. What is, so tell us some other favorites that you have. I love black pasta. Black That's pasta? My favorite. How do you make black pasta? Well, you add salt, like your dad said, it makes the pasta dark? No. What is black pasta? Black pasta is made with. Here the popcorn stuff. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. With a squid ink? With squid ink? Squid ink. You're six years old and you like squid ink on your pasta? That yes. is pretty cool. I know. Oh, 
Yes. Okay. How many of your friends enjoy eating squid ink pasta with you? <laughs> well, I really didn't have so much friends, but a lot of friends like it. They do? Yeah. Does it taste like, what does a squid taste like? It tastes really good. It tastes like, for example, you're eating really good candy. Like candy? Yeah, wow. really good. Wow. Do you make your own pasta too? Not really, but I do like to... Yummy. Yummy. But I do Can like I to have, um, make my own recipes mm -hmm. and eat them, and mm -hmm. they're really good. Do you ever cook for your dad and your brother? No. No? They my dad cooks for me and my brother. Oh, he does, huh? He comes home from the restaurant and he has to cook for you too? Yeah, it's a lot of work. I think the um, pumpkin's ready. All right, we have some noise here. Yeah. Now that's going. Do you have to shake the pan or you just let it go? No, I just let it go. Yeah. yeah. And tell me about these other, real quick, while we have a second here, you got these other flavored olive oils. Yeah, I have other so flavors. Easy. I like to take advantage of mm. the farmer's market and the freshest produce, but mm -hmm. I, I also want to save those products mm -hmm. for later in different seasons, right? right? So I have dehydrated, I dehydrated um, persimmons, uh, bay leaves, uh, uh, porcini mushrooms, mm. uh, um, morel mushrooms, uh, verbena. I can do all sorts of things. Uh, uh, raisins are fantastic. I love raisins. The raisins. Uh, I do a pasta with. Um, Chocolate and raisin during the winter time. So the, chocolate the, and choc raisin cacao, pasta. Cacao and raisin, yeah, oh. yeah. That's fantastic. I also make my own salts, um, mm. the uh, clover or the verbena mm -hmm. or the geranium salt. So um, I'll take the freshest bottles and I'll kind of try to preserve them during different and seasons. And with those flavored salts, are those, is it you call a finishing salt? It's those are finishing salts, yeah. Sprinkle on yeah. top. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, and, and that all goes through a dehydrator? Or can you just put them in your oven? No. You don't have a dehydrator? Or? You can do that too, right? Uh huh. An oven yeah. at low temperature yeah. oven and leave them at overnight. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good thing too. Yeah. I smell I that. Rosemary. I can smell that's that. Fantastic, yeah. right? Also, uh, tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Uh, the other tomatoes, and then uh -huh. you can save them for, you know, summertime or springtime when they're not tomato. Uh, spicy olive oil, pepperoncino. So that's all this one of stuff. those machines that it's like a cryovac yes, bag. You we, can put stuff have, in. Yeah, we have better that this one. And so, and you uh, keep that at room temperature? Do you have to, can you freeze that? What do you do with that? How do you store it? You that? can. I think the best way would be to store it in a refrigerator uh -huh. because mostly olive oil, so it's not going to go bad. But oh, yeah. Uh huh. I think that would be the best, the best way to do it. Okay. They're slowing down and a little. Now we're slowing down a little bit. I don't know bit. if we take the top off, though. They're going to fly everywhere. You smell the rosemary? Smell. You can smell the rosemary olive right. oil. Mm. There's always going to be one what? more that pops out as soon as you take the lid off. We also have uh, some uh, uh, chips, uh, some uh, sage oh. chips uh, um, uh -huh. and kale chips. And I like to take some of maybe the, the, those uh, sage chips and sprinkle on top of the uh, popcorns. Sage this is very and kale. Now, were these done? Uh, this, these were done in a microwave. Okay. Okay. Um, it's very simple, actually. Uh, two, exactly two minutes in a microwave. Uh, a little bit of salt on top of it. Sea salt, if you have it, and they are ready. And Can they I are pour really the salt on? Okay, okay. Louisa, who's going to taste the pasta first? We got a. We need a volunteer taster to go first. Let's. I know. You know Can what? I go first? Yeah. Let Louisa go first. She's our Louisa's guest. Louisa's going to go now. first. Can I have a couple of uh, yep. uh, sage? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to break them on top right here. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, and maybe Daddy. I can use one of the kills and I put it here as a decoration for my beautiful oh, pasta. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And Louisa, one, take a bite. Let's see how it tastes. Which one? Okay. You can, have, you can try any of these ones here. All right. There you, you go. You, you go first. I'm going to try the popcorn. Oh, there it's over there. I'm going to try one of these. Okay. So the popcorn, okay, you, you don't even need too. to dress it with anything. Well, we added some mm. salt in here, and wood, you don't need to dress them, but we do add, did add some salt in here and some spices. Okay, okay? everybody, we've got a this thank you really so good. much. Okay, you taste it too, you tell us too. Right now, thank you so much, Stefano, You're so very welcome. Luca, Luisa, thank you so much for being here and sharing all of your talent and your expertise with us in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed Stefano and Luca's recipes today and that you will get to the farmer's market soon to pick up some of these ingredients so you can try these recipes yourself. Cooking with the Farmer's Market supports California family farms and brings you the best and freshest ingredients on, on earth grown right here in California. Join us again for more Cooking with the Farmer's Market.